Hey, bank customers in Nigeria have uh, to the end of today to register their accounts with the bank verification numbers. That, of course, is if a deadline issued by the court on the process is observed. Customers suddenly risk forfeiting their deposits once the deadline elapses. But there are strong indications that the Central Bank of Nigeria may not compel the banks to implement the decision at the moment. Now, banks were gripped on Thursday by the fear of a major liquidity crisis uh, it, should the government pull out of funds belonging, belonging to the customers without bank verification numbers. The federal high court ruling on an ex parte application filed by the federal government granted the temporary for feature of such cash within two weeks unless the owners justify their ownership of such accounts. Well, let's find out what's really happening. We're joined by Ugo Obichuku in Lagos. He is the founder of NairaMetrics.com. Welcome to the show, sir. Now, let's start uh, with these funds. Are the funds from uh, these accounts uh, suddenly linked to customers without uh, bank verification numbers? Are, is it large, are these funds large enough uh, to threaten liquidity in the banking sector? Well, nobody's really sure how much it is. Uh, all we know currently is that there are uh, about 15 million accounts that are yet to be registered uh, for uh, BVN. And that's about 33% uh, or thereabout of the 45 million accounts uh, that they claim we currently have. Um, if you look at it as well, you, I, I think that the banking sector deposits are currently at about 16, 17 trillion Naira. Uh, so uh, if you... Uh, assume that you want to pull even a hundred billion naira um, I mean, from from the bank from from the banks, it would always seem like there's a run on the bank. So where, whichever way you see it, uh, it will cause a little bit of stir. Mm. Now it does beg to question why these customers don't want to register uh, their BVN numbers because it does expose illicit uh, financial uh, dealings amongst the banks. So how much has this uh, deadline rattled the banking sector? Um, well, it, I, I wouldn't say it's rattled the banking sector. I think that from, from a few bankers that I've spoken to, um, um, they don't seem to be rattled uh, by any means. They think that uh, this is probably you know, uh, one of the uh, you know, measures that the CBN has taken, uh, along, even though the CBN and the banks are actually defendants here, uh, or respondents rather. Uh, this is just some of the steps the CBN and the government is taking to get you know, people to, to, you know, to register. Uh, they've been at this for since 2014 or thereabouts, and uh, they want to conclude this by all means. And if you would agree, uh, if you still have 15 million accounts that are yet to register for BVN, um, then that's a problem. Uh, explaining why uh, a lot of Nigerians haven't actually um, registered, there's a number of reasons. I mean, uh, uh, some, there are a lot of you know, accounts that people don't use anymore. Uh, a lot of Nigerians live abroad, they have accounts locally. Uh, you have people who have multiple accounts, they don't even remember which accounts they are. And of course, you also have people who are in hospitals. There are just a number of reasons why, uh, why people haven't actually um, you know, adhered to this completely. Mm. Well, we know these unclaimed funds, so to speak, head to the government's coffers after this deadline passes. So what do you expect to happen next? Could we see this decision challenged in court? Well, um, if you, act, you know, if you look at the, the government statement, uh, what they actually said, or, or the court statement rather, they actually said, you know, it, it, after the deadline today, uh, you'd have to explain to the government why uh, they shouldn't, you know, forfeit your funds, right? That's actually what it is. Uh, however, there, there, there have been uh, a few civil rights organizations that have joined uh, the suits against the government. Uh, there are more that I understand will be coming, in, you know, will be joining in the coming days. So I, I doubt that uh, the government is going to go through with this. This is probably just a step, uh, like I said earlier, to get a lot more people to register uh, for the BVN. I also think that there are certain accounts that they are targeting. They probably haven't come out yet, you know, uh, to make any public state statement regarding that. Uh, but by and large, I don't really see this, uh, you know, getting to a point where they would have to forfeit accounts. Mm, quite interesting. Well, many thanks for those insights. Of course, that's Ugo Obichuku. He's in Lagos. He's the founder of Nairometrics.com.